All right, bida bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today the topic we are going to cover is air recoverable debts recovered, also known as debts recovered. Now, what is debts recovered? When uh, one or more than one of our customers turned bad in the past and we lose all the hope and we written off those debts as irrecoverable or bad debts. But suddenly out of the blue, that customer came forward and they offered us amount that they that were was previously written off. Now, if the customer is was turned bad previously but now he or she came forward and they are now giving us the amount due and therefore it is known as debts recovered it can be the customer has cleared his entire debt or it can be the customer is only paying partially maybe 50 percent of the amount or 30 percent of the amount that they owed and this is known as debts recovered now let us understand this with the help of this exercise uh, we have question number one that is uh, on 1st November a debtor Mr. Aslam who was previously written off with a total debt of 5500 offered to pay 0.5 for each dollar written off. Okay. Now as you can see Mr. Aslam was a bad debt previously and we written off this amount in the irrecoverable debt and subsequently in the income statement now Mr. Aslam has shown interest to pay us the amount that he actually owed us. But as you can see, Mr. Aslam is not offering the entire amount. Instead, he is only going to pay 50%. So how can I deduce this 50%? Uh, it's written 0.5 for each dollar. So what we need to do better, we need to make general entries and ledger account. Ledger account means T accounts. So first of all, we need to understand the general entries. And before that, we need to understand how much amount that we have actually received from this customer. So the total amount of debt that was due by him was 5500 and he paid half dollar or 50 cent for each dollar. So this uh, makes 2750 of the total amount. Okay, half of the amount has been recovered. So first of all, we need to prepare general entries that is debit credit. Now, as you can see, Mr. Aslam, uh, who was apparently not a good person, so he gave us a lot of trouble in the past okay because of not paying his debt due so therefore we are never going to trust mr aslam again okay so we would never make a mr aslam account again why because we do not intend to deal with this customer who is anyways a bad debt for us okay so instead of debiting mr aslam account uh, first of all, we need to debit bank account. Why? Because the money is coming into the business. So the cash or bank would be debited. If the examiner does not mention us that we have received the money through cash or check, we will all, all, only be writing bank. But if instead the examiner specifically tells that uh, we have received money through cash, then and then only we can write cash. Instead, we are going to write bank. So bank would be debited. Now, instead of opening new account for Mr. Aslam that was previously written off, we need to make an entry uh, with the name of debts recovered. Now, debts recovered is the exact opposite of bad debt. Okay, bad debt was previously uh, uh, known as an expense and the nature for expense was debit. But now here debts recovered is an income account and an income account will always be credited. Okay, so the debts recovered account is an income account that would be credited and the bank or cash should be debited because the money is coming into business we do not need to mention mr aslam anywhere okay now uh, as you may be aware from your earlier studies that a bad debt account was an expense account at the end of the year all of the expense account needs to be closed and need to be transferred to where a special account known as income statement now similar is the case with the debts recovered now as you can see debts recovered is credit in nature why because it is an income account now at the end of the year all of the income accounts would be closed and we need to transfer it to where an income statement so the debts recovered was previously credit now we need to debit this debts recovered account and we need to credit it where in an income statement now uh, but uh, why is income income statement is being credited income statement dear it is being credited because it is an income it is a profit it is a gain okay so the gain or profit or income is always credit in nature so these are the general entries 
and the question also mentions us to make a t account or a ledger account for this ledger account is basically a t account now as you can see in the first entry the debts recovered account was being credited why because it is an income account and income is always credit in nature so we credited the debts recovered account and what we need to do we need to write the reference as bank okay so the debts recovered would be credited and the reference would be bank now as you can see an income account is credit in nature so what we need to do now we need to debit this debts recovered account and we need to transfer it to where we need to transfer it to an income statement okay so the debt recovered that was previously being created at the end of the year needs to be debited and we need to transfer it to where an income statement now beta lastly in this question we need to make an income statement extract now what is an income statement extract it is not a complete income statement uh, instead it is only that part of the income statement that contain entries relating to debts recovered now as you may be aware that debts recovered as an income if you are uh, going to make an income statement extract income statement extract always starts with gross profit here why because as you may be aware that uh, the format of the income statement if you remember it correctly uh, we usually start with sales then we have cost of sales sales minus cost of sale it would be a gross profit then after gross profit it would be an add other income then less it would be expenses so instead of starting with sale we are going to start it with with gross profit okay so the after gross profit uh, there comes other income and in an other income uh, there can be uh, debts recovered okay debts recovered is basically an income for the business so it will be written where it will be written in a uh, other income category okay ji after gross profit uh, we add other income and then after other income in an income statement we write expenses now in this topic there can be two types of expenses it can be an irrecoverable debt that is bad debt and there can be provision that will be covering in the later part of the question okay so this is basically this was a first exercise for debts recovered now let us do some further practice for this in question number two uh, on 30th number john whose debt of 5000 had been written off in 2009 now in uh, for recording our uh, debts recovered it is important that debts recovered is only booked in a later year when once we have already written off the debt as a bad debt okay so uh, it cannot be the case that in the same year there is a bad debt and it can be recovered as well okay so usually the debts are being recovered in the later years so the debt that we had written off in 2009 in this year it's next year that is 2010 the customer returned and paid 55 cent for each dollar written off now first of all we need to see that how much money we have actually received what we need to do we need to make general entries here now out of the total debt of 5000 we have just received 55 cent for each dollar okay if we multiply 55 cents with 5000 dollars we are left with amount of 2750 now here also we have received 2750 from this customer john now instead of making john's account we are never going to deal with john again because he was not a good guy okay so therefore we never need to uh, uh, open a john's account again so the amount that we have received we are going to debit the cash or bank and if the examiner doesn't mention anything we are always going to write bank instead of cash now we need to uh, open a new account with the name of debts recovered that is an income account okay so the bank would be debited and debts recovered would be credited now at the end of the year we also need to close this debts recovered account and the debts recovered is credit in nature because it's an income at the end of the year we need to debit this account and we need to transfer it to where we need to transfer it in an income statement you must remember that at the end of the year all of the income and expense accounts are being closed and we need to transfer it to where we need to transfer it to an income statement okay now let me make a debts recovered account in this question as well now as you can see in the first entry debts recovered is being created we need to credit the debts recovered account we need to credit debts recovered account and instead of this uh, uh, when uh, crediting the debts recovered account we need to make the reference of bank or cash 
okay now in the first entry we credited the debts recovered account in the second entry we need to uh, close this debts recovered account and we need to transfer it to where an income statement okay so the date for debt recovered would be the exact date on which the customer paid us the money but the income statement entry wouldn't be we would be making on 30th november instead an income income statement would be made at the end of the year that is 31st december okay so there can be multiple entries for this bank so as long as customers uh, are paying us the debts that we actually uh, written off as bad debt previously we need, we can write multiple entries for this if there is more than one customer that paid us in this year but the income statement entry would only be made once and when it would be made at the end of the year okay it would be made at the end of the year now let us do one more exercise in order to fully understand the topic uh, the question number three that we do have question number three is relatively straightforward let's move to question number four now as you can see in question number four we need to make a bad debt recovered account okay but there is only one requirement okay okay let's do three and four both first start with question number three uh, actually this is not an entire question this is only one adjustment so usually we do not have an entire question for debts recovered or, uh, but instead it's only one part of the examination question that we get on bad and doubtful debt okay on 10th may some received a check of 49 from m khan whose account had been written off in 14 now as you can see in this question also uh, the customer wrote off in 2014 and now he returned back in 2016 to pay us the amount that he owed us okay so we need to write only the general entry for the recovery of debt and in this question examiner is also asking for narrative so we can also write the narrative we need to make a general entry now instead of uh, making an entry in m khan account because we have already written off m khan we do not need to make another account or uh, make a new account for m khan so we would be debiting a bank why because we have received a check and we need to make a new account with the name of debts recovered okay debts recovered is basically an income for the business and in this question the examiner has not asked us to make a transfer entry at the end of the year to income statement instead we just need to make uh, write a narrative for this entry okay so in the narrative actually we need to explain our general entry that why we actually made this entry in the first place okay we need to write to record and check receive from whom from mr khan m khan which was previously written off okay so this is basically simple narrative narrative will get you one mark in the exam and two uh, marks are for this general entry so if the examiner is also asking for the transfer entry, the income statement, what we need to do, we need to uh, debit the debts recovered and we need to credit it to where an income statement. Now let us do uh, one last question for this and we can move forward to the next topic that is provision for doubtful debt. In question number four, Zodwa is a trader. She maintained full set of records. Okay, good for her. She uh, provided the following information. Check for 118 was received from AL stores whose account was written off in 15. Now again, in 15, the customer was wrote off and in 17, he returned back and gave us the amount due. Okay, so we'll be making an entry. Bank would be debited by 118. Now, instead of making AL stores account again, we need to credit this income account. Why? Because income is always credit in nature. Debts recovered account would be credited. Now, as you can see, there are no other debts recovered if there would be more than one uh, entries we can write multiple entries for bank and at the end of the year we need to credit uh, add up all of these credit sides and we need to transfer it to where we need to transfer it to an income statement okay now uh, this was the basically simple concept underlying uh, debts recovered